Okay, everyone. So now we are creating a Windows application where we will check the password. And if the password is correct, we will show the message to the user. In this program, we are going to use the if else and we will learn that how to provide the password character. So first of all, we have given the name of this project as the check password. And here, first of all, I am taking a label so that user should be aware. And here I am changing the text. Let's say I am saying enter password. So I am only taking one field so that user can enter it. Now where user will enter? So I am taking a text box in front of that. So this is the text box I am taking. User will enter the password in that. Now I want that the whole action should be performed when I click on the button. So I am dragging and dropping a button here. So I am putting into the middle. I am changing the name of the button. Let's say click or I can simply say check so or login whatever you say so I am writing login now afterward I am going to change the name of form also so this is the form one let's say I am giving the name my name I am giving so you can provide your name as well so here we are having this form and if I run this project then afterward you can see that there is an output window I will enter some kind of password here and I will click on the login and it will tell me whether my password is correct or not. So first we are going with this. That means on clicking on the button, we need some operation. So I am double clicking on the button. The coding of button will open. So button click means on clicking of button, this function will be called. Now we know that first of all, we should be taking this text box one text inside some variable so that we can check it so text box one now here I am declaring a string type variable let's say dim a as string we know that here we are taking the string because password can be into the numeric or can be the alphabet so it can be the alpha numeric so that's why I am taking the string now a is equal to means in the variable I am taking text box one dot text now here whatever inside the text box one text is available so we will take it and store to a here we are not applying the val function because we are dealing with the string not the numeric so normally it will be stored now there are two ways one way is that I simply apply the if and check the password or I can take one more variable let's say if I say B now in the B I am storing some password let's say B is equal to let's say this is the password I am storing here so in the B the password is available a we are taking from the user and we have to check if these two are same then we should give a pop-up to the user so now I am going afterward so if we know that there is a condition check so if is for the condition check if a equal to b now simply you don't have to do anything you simply press enter you can see that there is a if then so then automatically coming and if automatically coming in the dot net you should not write everything by yourself you simply press enter dot net will do it so if is the end if. that means this is the block where I will write the coding and you should know that a single equal to b it is not like the c language where we apply a double equal to b for the comparison and a equal to b for the assignment no so here single equal to means it is a comparison operator so it work in the both ways so a equal to b is the comparison here now we know that if a equal to b means the text box text the user is entering here and the password which I have provided if both are same then there should be a message box so message box dot simply I will write in the bracket now password is correct or valid whatever your choice you can provide so this is a simple option now if I run this program so here is the output window let's say if I am writing the same password now here 
So you can see that if I click on the login, you can see that password is correct. That means this text box one text is taken and stored to A. In the B already this name is present. Both are compared with each other. Then afterward, if both are equal, then password is correct. But let's say if both are not equal. Now if I am removing this, if I click over there, no response. So if the condition is true, I have given that statement. But if the condition is false, I have not given anything. Let's say if I write some other thing, login, no option. So here in the if we are having other option, which is called the else. So else is for other options. If both are not matching, means A and B are not matching. So else part will run. So message box in the bracket, password is incorrect. So that is the option. Now, if I run this, now you can see that if I am providing the wrong password, let's say login, you can see that password is incorrect. But if I am writing the correct password, let's say then afterward login. So the purpose is solved. Now you know that in the if we are having the multiple statements, we should know that in the if we can also provide the else if, let's say multiple if you want to apply you can apply so that is also the option available but in this case we don't want so we are keeping with it only now there is one thing to note let's say if my program is running and I am providing the password obviously the password is correct so it is showing me the option but yeah other people can see my password I don't want I don't want this password to be shown so whenever I write the password, it should not write the text. It should be some star, star, star symbol or hash, hash, hash or dollar, any symbol as per my wish. So there is a coding for that. That means you should know whenever I write something here, it should not be giving you the text. It should be giving you the star or something. So here in this text box, I want to apply. You should know that I should be going on the design. So text box one where I am applying. Now when I run the project and I am starting running, now before that thing should be applied. Before that means when the form loaded, means when the project started, at that time it should be converted to the star. Means when I start writing it should be coming star. Even if I don't press anywhere. So when the program start, it should be taking only star 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 whenever user write so that means this is the coding of form load so i double click on the form you can see that form load form load means whenever i click on this start debugging button play button then this coding will automatically run and do whatever i want means whenever i start the project this coding run and i'm saying here where i want to apply on text box one so here I am going on the form load. So text box one dot. So there is a password character. So password char is equal to, let's say I am applying the star here. Now you will see the change. So this star is the symbol. So if I now start the project again, you can see that there is again the text box. Now this coding already run when I clicked over there, it is already run, right? So here if I write my name, you can see that it is not showing my name. So here I have entered some password. Click on the login password is correct. That means I have entered the same value, but it is showing the star. If you don't want the star, you want any other sign. So close it. You can simply change it. Let's say you are putting the hash or the dollar, any symbol at the rate. So you again start the project and here. So form loaded at the time of loading of form. This coding was running already means this character already set to hash. So now again, I am entering the password. Now this time all the things are hash. So if I log in, you can see that password is correct. That means the exact password I have written, but it is keep on checking.
so how it is working when i start debugging the coding run it make to the hash so text box password corrector so text box one password corrector going to hash and when i click on the button this coding run button one underscore click so ab was the string from the text box the value is taken whatever we have written let's say ankit verma we have written so in the b password was there both was matched if it is matching message box is coming if there is not matching they will be incorrect so this way we can provide the password corrector and we can check for the password